I don't have to prove anything right. because I know there's not another vehicle on that road that can beat me. I'm Matt DeAndre and this is Car Collectors. My name is Jeff Dunham and I am a comedian and a ventriloquist. We're sitting right now in uh, my private warehouse in Los Angeles. Driving them around as much as I can. They don't just sit here. There's a romance. And to me, a, a car is a piece of artwork. We'll Man, see good you to again. see you. Thanks Take for coming by and uh, seeing the toys. Thanks for inviting me over. I know you have such a great car collection. I've been dying to see this for a while. Tell me about this Humvee. Well, it's actually not a Humvee, it's a Hummer, because the Humvee oh. are the military ones. Yeah, that's the technical difference. It's a DuPont Chrome Illusion paint, it's a flip-flop paint. So this particular one goes from blue to purple to red to orange, depending on the, on the light. I promised my accountant that if I bought this thing, I would drive it for 10 years and never buy another vehicle. And I drove this thing for 10 years. This was my daily driver. Jeff, a freaking Batmobile. Not a Batmobile, the, the Batmobile. Batmobile. It was a stand-in car, it was actually used in the film. I've seen a lot of prop cars and there's no way it came this way. This car was made to drive uh, 300 feet twice. It's a plywood uh, fiberglass prop. We've kept everything completely uh, as it was in the film, as, as we should have. But on the inside, we made it drivable. And uh, we put an LS7 engine in it, a Corvette engine in it. We changed the suspension, uh, put air conditioning in it, uh, actually got it street legal. We have uh, four cameras on it, so you have no blind spots. There's actually a license plate that drops down electronically. All right, so can you open it up? Well, you do it just like in the movie. Batmobile, open. I don't think it squeaked like that in the movie. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I see you've got a Morgan back there. What's unique about this car? Built by hand by like, I guess like 30 guys uh, in England. We picked the paint, we picked the leather. We, whatever you want, they will put in this car. I only have two non-American cars. This one and the McLaren. Nice Let's yeah. go check it out. All right. Jeff, I absolutely love this car. The McLaren is one of my favorite modern cars. Tell me about wh why did you get this car? On this McLaren, my favorite thing about it is how to open the door. Okay, is it like the Batmobile when you just say open? I wish. <laughs> so it, it's it's unlocked, it's ready to unlock. All right, there's well, it's gotta there's be no clue. Down here. Yeah, there's, there's no clue how to open it. I, I, I'll give you a hint. You're not gonna feel anything. Right. There's no there's latch, gotta be... there's nothing under there. Some no, waving. I think it's unbelievably cool. You just take your hand right here and slide it like this. And, there and that go. opens the door. And that opens the door. Go ahead, okay. I have the key, try it. Right, just slide it along the bottom. I don't think there's a, there's a quicker car in this entire collection. Jeff, I love the Ford GT. You must as well because you have two of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or maybe you just two completely different vehicles. Or maybe you just couldn't figure out which color you wanted. Well, this is the GT and this is the GTX1. And the GTX1 was the Ginaldi group. They got a hold of a handful of these, uh, blessed by Ford, and they turned them into the GTX1, which they, means they chopped the top off. The car normally is, what, about 550 horsepower? There's Yours a little more now. Is... It's 800 at the flywheel. Can we hear it? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, sure. i got to sit in it to hear it. <laughs> All right, now. let's do it. All right, hit the red button. Sounds amazing. <laughs> I kind of like it with the roof cut off. Oh yeah, the roof cut off is great. Yeah. Uh, when I'm driving to e is... either one of them, this is a lot more fun. The other one's a little bit claustrophobic. This is yeah. this is way nice. The Plymouth Cuda, a beautiful vehicle. All right, so this is, uh, what year is it? It's a 70, numbers matching, um, but it is, it is a beautiful vehicle. I mean, it's uh, that's that's what American Muscle is all about. And I love the color combination. This is called the Fender Tag over here. Okay. And in the Fender Tag is stamped in code everything that this vehicle is. Right. Everything from what stereo is in there, to what color the seats are, to what size the engine is, all the little details. would go through the assembly line, yeah. the guys would look at the code, they would install whatever's on the code, the screw would get painted over, and then the last inspector would come by, inspect the car, he would then take the last screw and put it in by hand. <laughs> all right, well, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> little details that no one cares about. <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much. What an amazing car collection. Your McLaren, your Ford GTs, your muscle cars. I dig your Morgan. Well, I appreciate you guys coming by. This has been a lot of fun, so we'll do it again sometime. For more great car collectors videos, subscribe to GQ.com.